Welcome to Heroes Channel. In today's video, Genghis Khan, the untold story of the Mongol conqueror. When empires collided. In the shadow of the mighty Khwarazmian Empire, the invincible city of the Khwarazmian Empire stood as a beacon of hope and strength in a turbulent age. The Mongol conquest of the Jin Dynasty, unveiling the chronicles of Genghis Khan's epic campaigns. Delve into the historical drama of the Mongol conquest of the Jin Dynasty, a saga filled with strategic brilliance, political intrigue, and unexpected turns of fate. In 1209, Wanyan Yangji usurped the Jin throne, setting the stage for a conflict that would echo through the annals of history. Despite being outnumbered by 600,000 Jin soldiers, Genghis Khan, fueled by a thirst for vengeance and the promise of immense plunder, initiated a daring invasion in 1211. As the Mongol forces, guided by Genghis Khan's military genius, navigated through the intricacies of border fortifications and alliances, the Jin dynasty faced internal strife and defections. The campaign saw pivotal moments, from the Battle of Huanersui to the unsuccessful siege of Xing in 1212, where Genghis Khan's tenacity and adaptability were put to the test. The conflict resumed in 1213, with a Mongol detachment infiltrating the strongly reinforced Yuyang Pass. The surprise attack paved the way for the fall of Dongdu, modern-day Beijing, signaling the disintegration of the Jin administration. Political chaos erupted as Hushahu staged a coup, further unraveling the Jin's hold on power. Despite initial setbacks, Genghis Khan's forces rebounded, negotiating peace in 1214 after a failed siege of Dongdu. Yet, a betrayal by the Jin led Genghis to embark on a second campaign, capturing numerous towns in Laodong and sacking Dongdu in 1215. The aftermath saw Genghis Khan's return to Mongolia in 1216, leaving the capable Mukali in command in China. Mukali waged a brutal yet effective campaign against the remaining Jin forces until his death in 1223, solidifying Mongol dominance. As the narrative unfolds, witness the strategic brilliance of Genghis Khan and his enduring legacy in the wake of the Jin dynasty's collapse. The conquest laid the foundation for future Mongol expansion, marking a pivotal chapter in the journey of one of history's greatest conquerors. Enter Genghis Khan, a demigod of the Khwarazmian Empire, and Mbagai Khan, the unwavering prince. Both were poised to pen their tales of valor in the annals of history. As their blades clashed, each strike resonated with the hopes of thousands, echoing the age-old feud between East and West. It wasn't mere steel that would determine fate, it was deception. Following a winter hunting mishap that resulted in a fall from his horse, Genghis Khan's health took a debilitating turn in the subsequent months. As he became increasingly unwell, the progression of the siege slowed, prompting pleas from his sons and commanders to abandon the campaign and return to Mongolia for recovery. They argued that the urban-bound Xiao would remain a target for another year. Despite these pleas and the practical considerations, Genghis, fueled by insult from Xia's chief commander, adamantly insisted on continuing the siege. In August 1227, Genghis Khan passed away, but his death was shrouded in secrecy. Unaware of their leader's demise, Zhangxing fell the following month. The aftermath was marked by extreme brutality, as the city was mercilessly ravaged, leading to what man described as a very successful ethnocide, essentially extinguishing the Xia civilization. The exact cause of Genghis Khan's death has been the subject of intense speculation. Sources mention illnesses like malaria, typhus, or bubonic plague. Marco Polo suggests he was shot by an arrow during a siege, while Carpini reports Genghis being struck by lightning. Legends also arose around the event, with one famous tale involving Gerbelchen, the former wife of the Xia Emperor, allegedly castrating Genghis with a concealed dagger during a sexual encounter. In the aftermath, Genghis Khan's remains were transported back to Mongolia and laid to rest on or near the sacred Burkhan Khaldun Peak in the Hinti Mountains, a location he had personally chosen years prior. The specifics of the funeral procession and burial remained confidential, and the mountain was declared great taboo, off-limits to all but its Uriank High Guard. In 1229, when Ogade assumed the throne, the grave received three days of offerings and the sacrifice of thirty maidens. Rachnevsky proposed that, lacking knowledge of embalming techniques, the Mongols might have chosen to bury the Khan in the Ordos to prevent decomposition in the summer heat, however, Atwood emphatically rejects this hypothesis. A grand wooden horse, a ruse so audacious it became a legend. When its belly opened, the very heart of Burkhan Khaldun quivered. In this epic showdown, where passion met treachery and bravery met its doom, history wasn't just written, it was forged in fire. Genghis Khan emerges from the flames of the burning city, a symbol of indomitable spirit. Dive into this riveting saga with Genghis Khan and witness how legends were truly made. Don't miss a moment of this riveting historical tale. Like this video, subscribe for more gripping stories, and hit that notification bell to stay on the front lines of historical adventures.